Hello and welcome to the reading for the week ahead beginning Monday the 21st of February 2022. So this week we have seen the transition of us into the last zodiac sign of the year which is Pisces. It's a time to show yourself some sympathy and show some sympathy towards others. It's a time when you may be trying to keep everyone happy but don't forget to keep yourself happy. It's also a time of creativity and imagination. With it being the last zodiac sign of the calendar year, it is a time of reflection and confrontation. It's also a time not to beat yourself up for things that haven't worked out how, it, how you expected it to do. It's time to release and let go. It's not a time to play the part of the victim or the martyr. No, don't do that. We just got to go, yep, it worked, we'll carry on. It didn't work, let's go. And if you are constantly playing the part of the victim, please stop it. Because remember, you are responsible for every action you have made. So if you've not liked any of the actions you've made or not done, maybe it's time to make the change. We also have the last quarter moon in Scorpio on Wednesday, the 23rd of February. This is a time when you will feel yourself delving deep into yourself on a very emotional level. And you might find that it's like a realization that in order for you to move on, because we're going to be moving into a brand new year, is that you will have to release things you realise that you have to make the changes. You may have to feel that sting in the tail, that, oh God, if I carry on doing the same thing, I'm going to get the same result. So it is a time for you to move like the Scorpio moves and make the changes. We also have on Wednesday, the 22nd, which is a, sorry, I'll correct myself, on Tuesday, the 22nd of February, it's the closing of the 2-2 portal. We had it opened on the 2nd of February. We've had 20 days of doing the working in together with yourself or working with your spirit guides, working in a community with others and making plans and realising that, yes, I need to make the change. But as I said, on Tuesday, the 22nd, we have the closing of the portal 2020. So a lot of energy going on this week. So you may feel a little bit emotional. So we are using the deck Healing with the Angel Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. So let us see what cards we have for us. So we're calling in our angels, archangels, spirits and guides, our ascended masters and loved ones and asking to step close and to give us some knowledge, wisdom and insight to help us with what information we need. So we need balance, blessings and manifestation. We've got balance. So this is talking about the week is all quite emotional. So we need to balance our emotions out. Don't get too self-centered. Don't get the poor martyr. Remember, there are other people going through. So be sympathetic towards other people and sympathetic towards yourself. Be kind, balance, all work, no play. We also have the blessings. And this is when I'm saying, you know, about the playing the part of the victim, playing the part of the martyr. It's like the poor me, this happened, the poor me. But you need to count the blessings. Yes, things may not have worked out. You may be in a situation that's not very good. But at the same time, balance the yin and the yang. You've got good things, bad things. You need to start looking at all the amazing blessings because when you start looking at all the blessings, you suddenly realize I've got this and I've got this and I've got this. And, and it sort of starts to outweigh all the negativity. And then when you suddenly realize what you've got, all the things and realize that I've actually manifested all these things. I've actually manifested the current home I'm in. I've manifested the actual job I am in. I've manifested the partner I'm in. Now, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's like we can manifest anything that we want. So if you're constantly balancing on the negativity of things, the poor me, the lack, I'm not worthy. This is what you're going to manifest, a lack of of worthiness, a lack of nothing, a lack of a painful relationship. You've got the manifested a job you're not happy in. 
But when you start working from a manifestation point of the blessings that you've got, I'm blessed with this home. Yes, it's not the perfect place, but at least I've got a roof over my head. At least I've got a job. You've manifested things. And then you start looking at all the wonderful blessings and creating and going, yes, I've got this, I've got that. You can then suddenly realise how many wonderful things you can manifest. So this is what this week is all about. It is a very emotional week. It is a week that where you could play the martyr and the victim. But we've got to stop that. Stop the negative energy. We've got to raise it up. We've got to balance it up. Balance it up with blessings. And the more you put out, I am grateful for this family member. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful that I have a job. I'm grateful I have a car or I'm grateful for the home. I'm grateful for the bed I sleep in. I'm grateful that I have a kettle to boil my cup of tea or coffee. You've manifested everything. And if you keep manifesting from a positive sign, from a positive place, you will manifest anything you want positively. And this is what this week is all about. We need to balance out the negativity and we need to look at all the things that we've got already. Then we can start going, right, well, that's not any good. So release that. Release all the things that you've got that you don't need anymore. Balance out the negativity and bring up all the wonderful blessings that you have got. That is always all good for you. And then you realise that you've manifested everything in your life and you can carry on manifesting. But we need to make sure this week it's on a place of being kindness, sympathetic towards ourselves, sympathetic towards others. A very interesting week ahead. I hope you don't get too emotionally sucked down with it. Remember always to come from a place of love because your angel spirits and guides love you so much, so unconditionally. And they want to balance out all the negativity with an abundance of positivity, balance with time of reflection, release, time to be reflecting all the wonderful blessings you've got. And then moving forward from a place that you are worthy of in a wonderful abundance. Bit of an emotional roller coaster this week. I do hope you've enjoyed this reading. If you have, don't forget to press like, share and subscribe. If you'd like to have your own reading, don't forget to contact me, how to contact me in the comments below. Have a wonderful week, enjoying the energies. And don't forget closing down that 2-2 portal. Take care. Namaste. Bye.